Right now, we continue to stay on top of breaking news out of Tampa. Police are investigating a deadly hit and run on Hillsborough Avenue near Lois. Yeah, and this all happening while police were responding to that scene. At this hour, we're learning more about the moments leading up to that deadly incident. 10 Tampa Bay's Nick Voltura joining us live from the scene. Nick, what do you have? Yeah, Jamison, Caitlin, good morning. And this all happened around 2 15 this morning. And as you can see right behind me, it all went down right here at the Applebee's on Hillsborough Avenue. You can see there are police still here as the area is all cordoned off the lot. Now we're told police were responding to a domestic violence dispute that escalated to a man strangling his girlfriend. Now police say people nearby tried to break it up but didn't have much luck. When police arrived, the man in his 20s was trying to get back into the female victim's vehicle. Now police say they ordered him to stop, but he took off running. Police say they attempted to tase him, but while running, he tripped over the curb and landed in the road and got hit by a car passing by. Unfortunately, a car was also coming at the same time and struck the male, and the male is deceased. Uh, we will uh, turn that portion of the investigation because there was act of arrest being made over to FDLE to assist us with that. We'll consider it an in custody death. Now, police say they aren't sure if the driver even realized he hit the man. Now, the car they are looking for, it is described as a dark color sedan, but we are not sure yet of the make and model. Now, the eastbound lanes here on Hillsborough Avenue are still closed, but as you can see behind me, the westbound lanes are still open. Now, family and friends are still here. We can see them behind us gathered together with Police Susie Lopez, the state attorney, was also here on scene. Now, police say this still remains a very active investigation, and because this is considered an in custody death, the FDLE will be taking over the investigation. For now, reporting live in Tampa, Nick Volturo, 10 Tampa Bay.